They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas. An about face from Joe Rogan just three months ago, one of the world's most popular po podcasters thought RFK Jr. was the only option in the 2024 race. But now, on the eve of the election, Rogan formally endorsing Donald Trump. He announced that decision after his interview with billionaire and Trump ally Elon Musk. Rogan wrote in a post on X last night that Musk, quote, makes what I think is the most compelling case for Trump you'll hear. And I would agree with him every step of the way. And for the record, yes, that's an endorsement of Trump. Rogan's support comes as the Trump campaign has, of course, pushed to win over young male voters this cycle, with the former president making numerous appearances on podcasts popular with that demographic, including the Joe Rogan experience. There's no reason not to think that Mars and all these planets don't have life. Is cocaine a stronger uh, oh, yeah. up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of wrestlers want to be, they want to do the UFC thing but they can't take the shots. I played football too. I didn't particularly like it. What position were you? I, no, I didn't like it. I played tight, tight end. And I'll tell you about TikTok. <laughs> Trump is going to keep TikTok going. It looks so much more natural on TikTok when you see it being filmed from the outside. The TikTok dance looks conspicuously out of place. Uh, look, I'm not in the camp uh, of someone who thinks, I don't really think endorsements tend to matter that much. Uh, I wondered about Taylor Swift, and I do wonder about Joe Rogan. Brad, do you think that this actually moves the needle? Well, I think Donald Trump's opponent today is not so much Kamala Harris as it is the Xbox. Uh, he needs people who are young males who might not think voting matters and they think the Xbox more fun to get off that couch and go to vote. And That's so, a really interesting. I mean, it's a very sharp way to put that. Uh, and I think Joe Rogan is important in that demographic. I think Elon Musk is important in that demographic. You know, John Fetterman of Pennsylvania says that a lot of young males think that Elon Musk is Tony Stark. Uh, and so I, I think that's actually a pretty important endorsement uh, for him. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's, it, I, I do think it's been a unique strategy. And, you know, Donald Trump's interview with, with Joe Rogan has been downloaded 90 million times. That's a third of the country. That's a really, really big reach.